Welcome sa isa na namang edisyon ng Things na i-review ko pero hindi ko rin mabibili kahit kailan. <laughs> We finally got a taste of what true power feels like in the form of the 4090. It's the world's most powerful gaming GPU. And dito sa video na ito, i-review natin siya. What does that power feel like and what did it cost? I'm Rocky the Programmer and i-review natin itong 4090 from Galax. Kung bibili ka ng PC, most likely kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com Madali lang ang order! Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit working cdk ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin ang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura at original software, Check out So, disclaimer lang, yung 1490 na ito, hindi siya pinadala nung brand. This was actually uh, purchased by a very special customer and friend of ours. Uh, we thank him for allowing us to review and abuse yung GPU niya para magawa tong video na to. Thank you. So, the first thing na we're going to notice is the size. It is truly big. That's what she said. Pero yung parang pinaka-box pa nga lang niya is parang na siyang laptop box. That's thanks to the very beefy and massive na cooler niya and also yung overall size ng board. It's going to be a problem in anything but the biggest ATX cases. So, yun nga, tulad nung uh, naging build namin dito, marami kaming ginawang adjustments dun sa build. So, torrent compact siya. So, hindi siya malaki. Well, all, malaki siya, pero hindi pa rin siya enough. <laughs> dahil sobrang laki nga nung GPU na itong 1490 na ito. So, this specific card, yung Galax 1490, uh, marami siyang features na medyo iba. So, first is yung kanyang uh, mountable na exhaust fan. Meron siyang intake fan dun sa likod, which is yung tatlo. And then, dun sa backplate niya mismo, meron kang pwedeng i-mount. So, pwede kang mag-mount dun ng 102mm na exhaust fan that would help dun sa cooling niya. Also, marami siyang um, RGB points. As in, pagka tinignan mo yung pinaka-cooler niya, ang dami mga streaks na ganun. Tapos, yung title niya, may, uh, may kulay din. Uh, personally, hindi ko masyadong trip yung design niya. Pero, um, I can see some builds na talagang mag-take advantage ng design niya and mapapaganda siya. So, the specs niya, it features the latest 4 nanometer Ada Lovelace multiprocessor named after si Ada King, Countess of Lovelace, which is the very first, like, consider siya na very first na writer ng algorithm. So, siya yung very first na programmer. Nasa, she lived noong 1800s pa. So, kasi di ba ganun yung mga naming convention ng NVIDIA dun sa multiprocessors nila. So, si Turing, si Ampere, and ngayon si Ada Lovelace. Ada King or Ada Lovelace. So, isa pang notable doon, um, nagpalit na sila ng uh, manufacturing process. So, nandun na sila sa 4 nanometer fabrication process which is nasa TSMC. Yung Ampere, that's 7 nanometer. So, mas maliit na siya ngayon and like different siya. So, this architecture manages to cram 76.3 billion transistors in a die na 608 millimeters lang yung size. So, compared dun sa last generation, which was 28.3 billion transistors sa 628 na millimeter na die. 
mas madami siya and yet mas maliit. So, yung performance difference nun is going to be uh, drastic. It features yung third generation na RT cores and yung fourth generation na Tensor cores for yung lahat ng no AI workflow. So, tulad ng DLSS and other machine learning applications for the GPU. Tapos, it literally has more of everything. More cores, more, as in, mas maraming core clock, mas malaki yung VRAM, mas malaki yung number ng shaders, mas malaki yung size niya, and also, syempre, mas malaki yung TBT or yung board power niya. So, officially, 450 watts yun, pero we've seen na uh, this thing can peak at even greater na wattage dun. So, that's with the help of the PCIe 5 na power connector. Mamaya pag-usapan natin yung connector na yan. So, syempre, since siya yung world's best GPU, syempre, siya din yung may pinakamataas na score. At dito sa mga tinatest namin sa Hardware Sugar, um, siya yung pinakamataas sa time spy at over 37,000 na GPU score. Like, wrap your head around that. 37,000 siya. So, para siyang dalawang 3080. And of course, sa gaming, it eats up everything na tinroon namin sa kanya at 4K. So, lahat ng test natin dito is 4K at maximum settings. Lahat ng pwedeng i-crank, lahat ng slider talaga <laughs> pinilit namin na malakas talaga. And it averages 150 FPS dun sa mga demanding games like Horizon Zero Dawn. And 111 FPS sa uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And marami pang iba. Medyo nag-struggle lang siya and I'm going to quote yung struggle kasi um, sa Cyberpunk which has yung uh, pinaka-advanced na ray tracing or pinaka-demanding na ray tracing at ray tracing psycho, naka 70 to 80 FPS siya na 4K. Pero kung ikaw ba naman, <laughs> magre-reklamo ka pa ba nun? Above 80 or like above 70 FPS sa 4K. Okay, so doon naman tayo sa what did it cost? O, tingnan natin. So, thermals, actually maganda yung thermals niya, no? So, with the case open and medyo, medyo malamig naman dito sa office, nag-hover siya at around 50 to 60 degrees at yung maximum na parang usage niya. So, that's like, sige, bawa, sinara natin yung case and then medyo mas mainit siguro, plus 10 at most. So, around 70. That's still a very good thermal performance. Also, dun sa mga tests natin na ginawa sa gaming and then dun sa synthetic benchmarks, uh, very consistent yung frequency niya. So, hindi siya erratic and hindi siya nagsastruggle na i-maintain yung advertised, well, or yung stock na clock speeds niya, both in core clocks and memory clocks. So, eto na yung babayaran natin, yung wattage tax. Dun sa mga medyo easy na games like Horizon Zero Dawn and Assassin's Creed, Nag-hover tayo around 371 watts. So, medyo mataas na yon. Pero, nung tinry natin siya sa Cyberpunk, nag-crossover siya ng 456 watts. So, 456 watts, yung iba sa atin, yun pa rin yung buong PSU. <laughs> yung asin buong PSU, yung PC natin. Pero siya, yun lang yung kinakain niya at that. Time. Tapos, ano siya, um, sustain siya. Hindi siya yung nag-peak lang na ganun and then bumaba. asin Actually, makikita na naman natin doon sa graphs na talagang minintain niya yung 471 watts. And that's where the problem lies. So, it's no secret na itong mga line ng GPU na ito, yung 1490, mayroon siyang latest na controversy where we see uh, connectors or even yung mismong connector ng GPU nagme-melt. And, and hindi tayo dapat mas surprise doon kasi yung PCIe na connector na yun, kumakain siya ng apat na 8-pin connector. So, it's drawing so much power in a relatively very small na receptacle. So, talagang mahita natin na, yun nga, ang daming reports na even yung mga um, native na ATX 3.0 na cables, nasusunog na rin. So, it's not the um, adapter's fault, although very shoddy talaga yung adapters. Talagang nung tinetest namin siya, it's talagang very careful kami na hindi na namin siya mabend or uh, di namin siya mabunot ng madalas. Uh, medyo pangit yung quality niya. And at the same time, sobrang demanding din nung GPU in terms of power. So, the surprise, hindi na tayo dapat ma-surprise kasi this is the top-of-the-line cutting-edge na GPU. So, this is going to be expensive. 
So dito sa Philippines, it retails at around 110,000 pesos and even more depending pa dun sa model or manufacturer. Pero yun nga, sinasabi ko na it shouldn't matter kasi this is an enthusiast card. Um, yung mga customers nito, um, hindi naman sa pagiging parang elitist, pero wala silang pakailam doon. <laughs> you're looking for the best and you're looking for yung talagang raw power and yung, yun nga, yung parang kumbaga best in slot or, or like PCIe slot, <laughs> yun yung best niya. So talagang at the same time, yung system mo dapat makasabay din sa kanya. So top of the line na like current generation ng, G ng CPUs and of course a very powerful PSU. Yung iba nagre-recommend ng 1000 watts, yung iba nag-go over to 1500 watts. Yung ibang manufacturers yun yung nilagay nila na requirement. And we're not surprised kasi nga yung peak na performance niya is around 450 watts and that's just in one game. It's going to be yung centerpiece no PC mo. And of course, uh, siguro, hindi na namin to dapat sabihin, if hindi 4K yung monitor mo, do not buy this card. It's such a waste sa, for, sa 1440p and of course worse sa 1080p. Kasi you're going to be drawing power, tas wala namang pinupuntahan yung power na yun in terms of ano yung binabato niyang pixels. Yun. So, yun, siguro yun yung hardest na requirements sa kanya. Okay, so 1,000 watts na gold. Like, i-platinum mo na <laughs> since you're there. And, of course, meron kang 4K na monitor. And you enjoy yung 4K gaming. We're saying this kasi this is the first GPU that makes 4K gaming um, truly enjoyable and viable na. Um, yung mga test natin dati na 3090Ti, dati may review kami nun. Yeah. 4K siya, pero mapapansin natin na around 80 FPS lang siya. Eh, yung mga 4K gaming monitors ngayon, nasa 144Hz na. So, another thing pala is, for some reason, hindi nag-display port 2.0 yung NVIDIA dito sa generation na to. So, display port 1.4 pa rin siya. 1.4a to be exact. So, it's still going to power your 4K monitors up to, as in, matataas na refresh rates. Pero it's kind of weird lang na kasi this thing has so much power to give pa. Or gusto mo mag-future proof into going to uh, like 8K gaming. Pero like that's way dun pa sa future. Okay, so finally, this GPU represents the latest and greatest in PC gaming technology. Like hindi pa nga natin napag-usapan yung mga myriad of other features like yung DLSS 3.0. Yung iba pang mga technologies ng NVIDIA na exclusive lang dito sa card na to and yung ray tracing performance niya. But suffice to say na this card really brings the best gaming experience na possible ngayon dito sa planet Earth. However, it's very hard to 100% recommend without that asterisk. Emphasis on the risk. It's very hard to spend 110,000 or more to sa GPU na may or may not melt. Pero yun, if it's up to you. Pero in terms of yung performance and yung what it brings to the table, it brings the best. So yun nga, this is the most advanced na GPU in PC gaming, and I'm very excited to uh, dream about it. Kasi hindi hindi ako bibili ng 110,000 na GPU. And I'm very excited na may manufacturer na mag-sponsor sa amin and magpahiram sa amin ulit noong 4090. Shoutout, Asus! <laughs> sa Asus? <laughs> sa Asus ba? Okay. Special thanks kay Ochi na nagpahiram sa amin noong Galax 4090. Enjoy the rig! Sana di masunog! If you like this video, hit like, subscribe if you haven't already. Check our website at hwsugar.ph. Visit our Facebook page also, uh, Hardware Sugar. Join kayo sa Discord server namin. Invite link is in the description below. See you next video. <laughs> Binalik. <laughs> Naiya. <laughs> <laughs>